Well, it's the first day of Glastonbury. It's absolutely pouring down with rain. I've uh, got a stone in my welly and I'm dressed like a mountaineer, so yeah, having a great time. There is a lot of stuff uh, coming up today, though, that we should be looking forward to. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs are on the other stage right now and they are apparently going down very well. It's kind of the perfect kind of band, I guess, to open the festival when it's raining. As uh, Alexis Petridis just told me, you don't really, when it's pouring with rain, it's not really the time to listen to someone's experimental avant jazz uh, noodling. So they're going down well. Elsewhere today, we've got some quite interesting stuff on the lineup. We've got some real kind of firm Glasto favourites, such as Elbow, who always go down brilliantly on the pyramid stage. One thing that's particularly interesting, perhaps, is Skrillex is headlining the other stage. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about how they've never had. Um, a heavy metal band headline Glastonbury before, talking about Metallica on the Saturday night, but they've never really had someone like Skrillex headline either. I, mean, I don't think there is anyone else like Skrillex. It's impossible to describe, but who, God knows how that will go down, especially, especially in the rain and mud. It's going to be very interesting watching these kind of dubstep explosions ricochet across the sides. Elsewhere, I'm looking forward to Tune Yards. I think she's always amazing live. I think she does with loops and pedals and stuff. Um, and then Harriet Gibson is very much looking forward to Paolo Nettini, possibly the only person I will meet on site who says that. There's always obviously quite a lot of rumours about who's going to play. So far I've heard Mumford and Sons might be doing a performance. Coldplay have apparently checked into a hotel in Bristol, where, whatever that means, maybe they just like Bristol. Um, but they could be here, they may play with someone. Um, Skrillex, there's rumours about who he might bring on stage. Um, last night there were special shows from uh, 1975 and Metronomy, so yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff that might happen over the weekend, so, you know, at some point someone is going to say Prince is playing and everyone's going to head off there and it won't be them, it'll be, I don't know, war on drugs or something, but, you know, that's part of the fun, I guess.